What is up YouTubers, if you're looking for a budget friendly camera but you still want great quality footage, I would highly suggest scrolling down to the link below to grab the GoPro Hero 9 Black. If that's still a little bit too expensive, too much more than you're wanting to spend, no problem because GoPro also has the GoPro Hero 7 Black which also provides great quality footage. So like I said, down below I have links for that, plus I have links for all of the other equipment that I use to make my videos on this channel. Go check them out. I am in Shorewood Park, which is in Loves Park, Illinois, which is a suburb of Rockford and it's just north of the city. In this video, I'm going to be driving in mad circles around the city that is Loves Park, Illinois, and I'm going to tell you more about it along the way. Well, let's get to it, shall we? I do start the video in a neighborhood on the far west side of Loves Park, close to the Rock River. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Love Spark can be found in my Rockford playlist or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. Love's Park is a decent middle-class suburb of Rockford. The city is named after Malcolm Love, who was an industrialist in Rockford and purchased some land in the area that's now known today as Love's Park. The city was incorporated in 1947, and with it being situated right next to Rockford, the suburb grew along with the city. This suburb hasn't seen the same population loss as other communities have seen in the Rockford metro area. It's only estimated to have lost 600 people since 2010. Today it's estimated that the population is 23,300 and the median household income is $59,000 per year. The poverty rate is 12% and 26% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $112,000. All of those stats are better than the averages of Winnebago County as a whole, except the value of housing units. Niche.com gives the public schools in Love's Park a B-, so that's not terrible. Love's Park shares the Harlem Consolidated School District with another Rockford suburb to the north. The crime rates in Love's Park are just slightly below average, much better than in Rockford though. It looks like in Love's Park you don't have to worry about all the shootings that occur in the neighboring Screw City, so that's good. This is Highway 251, or 2nd Street, which is the main north-south thoroughfare through Loves Park. Loves Park doesn't have a downtown, but if you were to say that it did have one, it might as well be this two-mile-long strip of highway. It's really just your typical chain fast food places, gas stations, cheap retail, and towards the end there's some warehouses before you enter the city of Rockford near one of its nicer areas. So, I was actually renting a Jeep Wrangler during this weekend. If you didn't notice all of the Jeeps to the left, there was actually a parade taking place by the Screw City Jeep Club through this part of town. I had to do a random Google News search for Rockford, Illinois Jeeps to know what was going on. All weekend long, other Jeep drivers were honking and waving at me. They must have thought I was one of them. Nope.
To the left are some more Jeeps, but also it's the original headquarters of a company known as Woodward Governor Company. In 2011, the company changed its name to Woodward Inc. The company was founded here in 1870 and manufactures control system components such as fuel pumps, engine controls, and air valves amongst other things for aircraft engines. It's reported that around 34% of the company's sales have gone towards the defense industry. Today, Woodward Inc. is actually headquartered in Fort Collins, Colorado, but the company still operates facilities here in Loves Park. The company actually developed the first ever successful propeller control in 1933. To the right is the Forest Hills Country Club. You can't see much of it from the road, and it's technically in Rockford. To the left you have a Dr. Pepper and Snapple warehouse along with a larger craft food factory. Oh hey, look, it's more Jeeps. It's a Jeep traffic jam. It looks like a lone Dodge Grand Caravan was invited. Now, that's what I like to call 21st century equality. Way to be woke. You know, I probably could have just snuck in line and followed the convoy and acted like I knew what was going on and I probably would have been treated as part of the group. Other Jeep drivers all weekend thought that I was a part of it anyway, but I had other things to do. Jeeps are cool though. They make the current models of Jeep Cherokee at the nearby Belvedere Chrysler plant. The same plant also made the 2007 to 2016 models of the Jeep Patriot and the Jeep Compass. Today, most Jeeps that are manufactured in America are assembled in Toledo, Ohio, while they're also made at a plant in Detroit.
I mentioned this earlier, but Loves Park shares its public school system with McChesney Park to the north. There are some elementary schools in Loves Park and a middle school, but there ain't no high school. The lone high school in the Harlem Consolidated School District is in McChesney Park, and it's called Harlem High School. Combined, the two suburbs are home to just under 50,000 people. So yeah, from what I could gather and probably from what you can gather from watching this video so far, I think it's safe to say that pretty much all of Love's Park is middle class suburbia. You still have to deal with those pesky Illinois taxes though, of course. On this stretch, Riverside Boulevard serves as the border between Rockford to the south and Loves Park to the north. Seems like you have several amenities off of Riverside Boulevard, so that's good that you don't have to drive for 30 minutes across the city before you get to your favorite burger joint. If you've seen my other videos in my Rockford playlist, you'll see that there's hardly any amenity in the city of any kind that's not on either East State Street or anywhere else on the extreme east side.
So far, we've seen a Kraft Food Warehouse along with a Dr. Pepper and Snapple Warehouse. To the right and the way back behind this first building is a Pepsi Warehouse. Loves Park residents' favorite meal is mac and cheese with a can of soda, you know, so it seems right. The woodsy patch that you see to the right is actually a part of Rock Cut State Park. Nice place to go to get your outdoorsy fix. It has a couple of recreational trails along with a reservoir to take your boat out on, so that's nice.
In this video, I took you through just about every stretch of major thoroughfare within the Loves Park, Illinois city limits, along with heading through a few neighborhoods. Loves Park seems like a lovely suburb of Rockford, compared to Rockford standards anyway, minus parts of the north and east sides of Rockford that are actually very similar to what we just saw in Loves Park. I do end the video very close to where I started. If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Loves Park can be found in my Rockford playlist or in my Illinois playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!